Hi, it's Tadal. Welcome, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you my new uh, propagation station. The thought is that uh, it will replace my old one. There it is. Um, these are sh originally shot glasses, I think. Um, there's other colors too, but um, these are the ones I have. I'm using right now, and I like that it has uh, this um, a holder for them. Uh, but uh, as you see, there's not room for many cuttings in each. And what I've learned is that um, the uh, cuttings, when they start uh, having roots, getting roots, then they uh, uh, release some kind of hormone into the water uh, to make uh, a rooting hormone into the water. And that could be beneficial for other cuttings that are more difficult to root. But if, when I have this uh, set up here, uh, it doesn't really work that well. So by replacing it with this one, I hope that I can have cuttings of different species, some easy to root, some dif difficult to root, and the difficult ones will benefit from uh, being with the others. At the same time, I don't have them all grouped together because then they, the short ones disappear down into water and the long ones tip over and so on. That's why I'm not using a normal base. So, first of all, I have to fill it with water. I have some here. In Norway, we have pretty good water, but... Um, uh, not very much chemicals in them, in it, but uh, especially for, for cuttings and also more and more for my other plants, uh, I use this one. It's used for aquarium, uh, aquarium water to make it uh, healthy for the fish. And uh, yeah, I think it works for plants too. I'm not sure of the interaction with the fertilizer, so uh, I'm not using it with, at the same time as I fertilize. But cuttings, they don't need fertilizer, so yeah. So, and I, the water I'm using is lukewarm, so they're not getting a cold shock. I'm going to fill it. Yeah, that should do it. Let's see. And I'm going to transfer. I don't have much hope for this. This is a. a <laughs> it's not easy to see right now, but it's a, um. What's it called? Uh, the sensitive plants. As you can see, it's very sensitive. <laughs> so when I'm changing the water or uh, removing some other cuttings, then it loses all. And of course, it doesn't have any roots. <laughs> so uh, it's lost all its leaves. That, yeah, that was the last bit of it. So but it's still green, so I'm still hoping to see some roots, and maybe it will do better in this setup. Mm -hmm. And then there's some scissors. Uh, this is uh, scissors Amazonica. This roots pretty easily. I just took this cutting. Uh, yesterday, or, yeah, something like that. That roots really easy. 
or uh, easier than a lot of the other things here. Um, some scissors striata. Some of these already have. Uh, let's see. Roots like there and there. But I'm short of space at the moment. I'm going to sell some uh, rooted cuttings and pots in um, in uh, 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 flea market in um, my near town, uh, nearby town, Hama, uh, next Sunday. So. Um, hmm. Uh, so I don't have room for pot potting them up. It's as easy as that. Let's see. Mm -mm. I'm not sure this is going to work the way I thought it would. Something to bear in mind. Uh, when they de develop roots, you need to... Uh, you need to think about how big the roots are when you're getting them up from these small holes. So uh, for the, uh, uh, the spindly pl plants like this, it's really no problems. Their roots are soft and, uh, and uh, tiny. Uh, but in contrast, this is my uh, most... Uh, one of my most successful plants it's a the, some kind of ficus I'm not sh really sure what kind um, uh, but it roots really well as you can see it has some roots there starting and again, I could pot it up, but at the moment I don't have space. I usually wait before the, until they get a little longer, and they get quite uh, large compared to the scissors. So I need to put this in. The cuttings could fit here, but when they grow roots, they probably won't. You probably wouldn't get. Um, be able to get them up through that hole. So this should be in the middle. And do I have enough water? Yes. <clears throat> and another sensitive plant pull thing. <laughs> yeah. That could go together with the other one, I think. Maybe it would be easier to keep it in a nice position. It's hard when they don't have any leaves and the bottom is quite wide. Yeah. So, yes, the transfer is finished. And my new pr propagation station is up and going. Thanks for watching. And if you want more videos, please subscribe. And if you have any questions or any comments, uh, I'm, I'm, I'll be happy if you leave a comment.